like we are yeah, stiff. Hi. So yeah, Paul Clayton's absolutely fine. I've spoken with him this morning. He's advised me that he's blown everything out of proportion. Um and because he was obviously intoxicated with alcohol, however much he drank. I just want to say to the whole YouTube world, this shouldn't have been put on here at all. It's something that he's blown out of proportion for attention. Um, I get that regularly. What he does over that camera, imagine having that in your face. I get that regularly. And that obviously results in a what ha happens. So, oh, I'm really sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Um, well, this is so off. hard for me. This is okay, right? So, we'll start from the start. So, I met Paul three years ago, um, absolutely lovely relationship. Sparrow, is this okay to do on your channel? Because I don't want to ruin your channel. Yeah, so, um, I've been with Paul for three years and, um, we had a lovely, lovely start, and then it got a little bit rough in the middle where, um, he was. He had always told me that he every girlfriend he was with, he had cheated on. Um, there was a time where I was kicked out of his own house. I had to pack all my bags um, to be taken out and going back to my own home because he wanted to bring a girl back from Newcastle. Um, he wanted to bring that girl back. There's been times where he's brought girls back in front of me and flirted on with them in front of my face. Um, there's been times where... Um, other other thing goes on but this is just a, a a general occurrence for me what he does is he has he drinks all the time yeah he does have a drinking problem but he's brought this out of proportion um the night that i messaged paul i asked for his advice there was no flirtatious manner in it there was nothing it's like i thought we were all friends i was introduced to paul through my paul well not my paul now i was introduced to him through paul and i've Tia, stop it. I didn't see it being a problem of asking someone's advice. So he's blown it out of proportion, saying, oh, she's doing this, that, the other behind me back. That's not on. It's not on. You don't say that to someone. I haven't once. No. If I wanted if I wanted to go elsewhere, do you think I would go with fighting trolls? Do you think I would do anything like that? I wouldn't do anything. I saw him as everyone as a friend, and I've asked him advice. All he had was his phone off that night and I messaged fighting trolls and I said, look, if you were in the scenario, what would you think? What would you think? So that's where it came from. Um, so, yeah, that's that's why it is. And I just want to say everyone that's got this hatred towards me, think of what happens. Think of what happens. Would you like no. to be spat, spat in your face? Would you like your face to be Oh, bad? what? Is that would what he like did to you? Would you like that? that black eyes would you like all of that really seriously so oh my god is that what he's he, done to you battered you spat in your face blackened your car no, and no, humiliated he you he doesn't yeah this is what it is he doesn't oh. he doesn't think that slapping a woman's a problem he doesn't, what? Think he doesn't think this is a problem at all so so he's not this golden buzz that everyone is trying to make out to be. And that's all I've got to say. That is all I have to say. So if you, everyone in the chat wants to believe him, then that's your problem. But I, this is what I have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. So that's all I've had to say. And that's my story said. Yeah, yes. he, and imagine yes. I watched all those videos back four and a half hours of slating me all over YouTube. My family can't believe it. Absolutely cannot believe it. Oh, yeah. That's well, why he wouldn't that. let me speak last night. He cut me out. He shut me down because he knew he knew that I could I could say my say. And it's about time I open up and let everyone know. Like I said yesterday, I'll always remember the phrase: "A woman uh, should get a clip, and they need to be taught a lesson." I'll always remember that. I'll let you carry on. I've had my say. I've waited for this time to say everything. So, like I say, just be careful of don't let him um like think don't let him think let you think he's a, a not a, a golden man. He's really awful. So that's all. He used to take steroids. He does drink and I told him a long, long time ago it was affecting the relationship and he won't he doesn't say it to stop. So I can't obviously be with whatever that is. So no, don't get us wrong, yeah. he has got a nice side of him. But the other side, you never ever wish on your worst enemy.
Um, he makes everyone I... feel sorry for him. I constantly asked him today, I said, do you think it's acceptable trolling me all over? Well, not like calling me for four hours solid on someone's live um, YouTube stream. Um, and he sort of said, well, I was drunk, I was pissed up. But that's not, a, that's not a, like an excuse. It's not an excuse.